Happy Halloween. Hey everyone, Trancher Dan here. I hope you're all doing well today. So very quickly before today's video, up here will be some information for the Southern Invert Show hosted by Invert Shows UK. If you have not been to one of these shows, this is the last show of the year for you to come along and experience what they have to offer. These shows have been absolutely amazing this year. I of course did the Northern Invert Show, the Western Invert Show and the Eastern Invert Show and I had a great time, got some awesome pickups when I was there. And you know what, if you haven't seen it, Wait till the end of the video and check out the annotation or alternatively, please check out the links in the description for Invert Shows UK and come along if you're able to do so. With that said everyone, thank you for watching, take care and I'll continue the video. So happy Halloween everyone, I know a lot of YouTubers are doing uh, different sort of themed and spooky stuff, I don't have the time to do any of that unfortunately, so I thought I'd dig out this terrible costume that I'm trying to stretch over me, literally it does not fit me at all, it's rubbish, uh, if you haven't seen the video I'll put an annotation to that up here at the end. Now I'm not going to be wearing the mask for this because I don't need to muffle the sound anymore. I've got a bit of a bad throat so if I speak a bit weird I apologise. So I'm going to be doing a video to talk about my pickups and show you my pickups from Bugfest. So this show was the 10th anniversary. It was organised of course by Nick and I really enjoyed it. Of course the Spider Shop were there, Venomous Visions were there, the Ant Kit were there and now these are three companies I've dealt with recently. Uh, recently and kit only uh, but Venomous Visions and Spark Shop I've had a lot more to do with and I also got talking to some new people, new trailers uh, and actually bought some really cool plants which you'll see in just a little, little while. I actually spent most of the day filming for Nick as it was him that invited me there however I did do a bit of trading of course with the Spark Shop which is always awesome to do and of course I got talking to some of you. One gentleman uh, even picked up a tea Celadonia so uh, congratulations to you on joining the T Celadonia Owners Club. Uh, it would be cool to have someone else to potentially read with in the future. So it's really great to sort of talk to him and uh, try and give him some advice on how to keep it. I know people have had some problems with them, but uh, hopefully my advice will help him with his. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's a really, really good day. I will put some footage up on the screen of just uh, some of the things that were going on there and I will also be doing some other videos for Bugfest so please check those out when they come up. I'll be doing like a, a time lapse one like I do with the Invert Show UK and also from now on in the description of my videos will be a link to the Bugfest uh, website so you can check them out and see what they are doing. Really really good educational uh, family fun which I think is enjoyed by everyone that observes it. So now I'm going to get on to actually showing you uh, what it is I picked up whilst trying to adjust my Spider-Man costume. This thing is terrible. It's not very scary. Uh, the only thing scary about this costume is the quality. Still waiting for a refund. Uh, they offered me 30%, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not happy with that because I can't actually wear this out in public. You know, it's dreadful. So yeah, I did buy a whole lot of inverts at this show. In fact, I have three. Uh, the bottom plants and some enclosures and the reason for that is because this week I will be getting my £1,000 mystery box so yeah very very expensive mystery box coming uh, very very soon of course I'll be doing a video of that I have Dan uh, coming to join me for that if you haven't seen Dan before I'll put an annotation up at the end of the video for the crab video the big ass crab if you haven't seen that click on the annotation Go and watch it. If you have seen it, go and watch it again. It's awesome. Uh, he will be joining me for all these mystery box. There's loads of YouTubers doing them, uh, thanks to the Spider Shop. But uh, this one is probably one of the biggest ones that at least I've ever known of on YouTube for tarantulas and inverts. So yeah, it's going to be really, really cool to see what's inside of that. So, so if you aren't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe so that you don't miss that video. Of course, Patreon will have it a few days earlier and then I'll be doing a uh, schedule uh, premiere for that one because I hope to have some pretty cool things in it. Don't know what yet, it's a mystery, but uh, with a thousand pound price tag, it should be pretty good, hopefully. 
So let's take a look at what I picked up at the show. So the first invert that I picked up, I, the only transfer that I got is the Meg for Beamer Mesomelus, which I will put some um, footage up on the screen of this. It is only very small, so you can't really see it. But this is the Costa Rican Red Lake, uh, quite a large uh, tarantula when they are fully grown. So very much looking forward to seeing how this one grows. I've never owned one of these before. So uh, it's absolutely fantastic. And of course, I picked this little guy up from Spider Shop. So of course, if you don't see the Spider Shop bar, or if you want to have a look at their stock list, which by the way, just today, they have updated their stock list. They have some incredible, incredible things in. So I'd hugely, hugely recommend like going and checking out their website right now and seeing what they've got. So uh, yeah, this was from the Spider Shop. And then I also got two centipedes. Now these of course were from Venomous Visions, Tony, a very good friend of mine, um, all around nice guy. So the first one is the Scotopendra Hymen, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, this is only a baby centipede or peedling, as they are also known. And uh, this one was actually gifted to me from Tony, so thank you to Tony for, for that. Of course, I'll put some footage up on screen so you can have a better look at it. And yeah, quite getting into my centipedes at the moment. I now have quite a few of these, so uh, not of this species, but of centipedes in general. But yeah, very, very nice little guy. Thank you for that. And the second centipede that I picked up again from Venomous Visions is the Amorticosis. Now, I, this is one of the, uh, the feather legged, uh, feather tailed centipedes, which uh, we'll take a look at in a minute on screen. You'll see some footage of it. Uh, these are absolutely gorgeous looking uh, centipedes. Really, really do like the look of this one. And uh, yeah, absolutely great pickup. But yeah, an absolutely great pickup. Actually, on about the uh, centipedes, just uh, to let you guys know, I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six centipedes. However, one of them is going to be leaving my collection, and that is the Scotopendra Gigante, uh, the giant white leg. Um, absolutely fantastic centipede. I absolutely love it. It's a great addition. Now, I absolutely love this centipede. It's a great addition to my uh, collection. However, when I was at the bug fest, um, I talked to Nick, and he was telling me that his centipede had died, he'd been trying to get one and things like that. And so I offered him to have mine. He's a great guy, I know he will take care of her. I'm not asking him for any money for it. I actually paid, I think I paid 250 pounds for the centipede, so quite a lot. But I know it will be in good hands with him and he will use it in his future wild and deadly shows. It is an, an absolutely enormous centipede. So if you go to the Brighton show, I will be taking you there and give it, give it to him. And uh, maybe you can have a look at just how big these are if you haven't seen one in person. So yeah, just a few weeks of that being in my collection. And then uh, it'll be off to uh, to be with him. So it's a bit, bit of a shame, but like I said, she, I know he will look after it. So uh, I don't mind so much. So I also picked up two of these enclosures. Now these are the 15 centimeter cubed ones, uh, which are of course from Spider Shop. And I love these enclosures. I have two of them. Now the one of these is still empty. However, this one I have housed up with my third Celadonia. I actually have them named uh, the first Celadonia I got. It's called the big one. The second one is called Maya. And this one is called third. So uh, that's actually what I'm going to name them. I don't really believe in naming Celadonia, but just so I can keep a tab on which one's which. So it's the big one, Maya, and the third. Pretty easy to remember, I think. Um, so yeah, this is the T Celadonia, and you can see I do have a plant in there, which uh, very quickly, I put some footage on the screen, because I, I did the enclosures before I actually showed you the plants. But I did pick up a few plants uh, from a company which I cannot remember off the top of my head, but I'll put it down here on the bottom of the screen and there'll be a link in the description to their Instagram page where I got these plants. These are air plants and um, I bought a bunch of these for my Celadonia enclosures so you can take a look at them. Um, but yeah, I also bought uh, a really cool um, carnivorous plant 
and there's a general panther in my bedroom which I thought looked really really nice so um, yeah more plants than anything this year but still pretty awesome and I think that looks really really nice actually in there I'll just uh, just to let you know I'll be doing an update on the Celadonia all three of my enclosures have been redone with the plants in there if you have me on Instagram you will have seen the enclosures that look really really nice and uh, I'll be doing a video of that in a few days probably for Saturday's video so uh, yeah that's what I picked up so as a whole I didn't get a fat lot at the Bugfest show but I wasn't there to pick up editions like I said I do have this mammoth £1,000 mystery box from the spa shop coming now hopefully we'll be here towards the end of the week um, you will know on Instagram because I'll be putting a picture of it up there and uh, yeah I can't wait for that so please make sure you subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so you don't miss that video because it's going to be a good one I can tell you so yeah not a fat lot of the show I got the two centre feeds the tarantula two of the 15 centimetre cubed enclosures for those of you that have been asking me about them uh, the spire shop currently have them in stock so if you go online now on the website you can buy them um, for I think about 15 20 pounds each give or take really really good so uh, obviously fantastic and of course thank you to the company for the air plants and the sort of half pant I think it looks fantastic and uh, yeah I'm sort of holding out my my funds for but the, you know the shows and things coming up so of course thank you for watching everyone i hope you've enjoyed this video nothing too special and uh, the costume of course is dreadful but uh, this is what you get when you buy our facebook ads it's just genuinely absolutely uh, terrible i don't think peter parker had this problem with his but uh who knows so yeah anyway thank you for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy your halloween however you are choosing to spend it and of course don't forget to check out the other YouTubers uh, that are doing Halloween special videos. They should be quite exciting and pretty good. And with that said, take care. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.